What has two heads, two beards, and two clubs? Dr. Zom's ex-wife coming up next. It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? If your miniature is a two-headed, two-clubbed, loincloth, braid, beard, double braid, bearded, wearing, eaten, that only costs five dollars. It's right here, and yeah, so that's going on. So let's let's open this up. Here's what a rendering of one looks like if you decided to go like Braveheart face paint on it. Um, sure. Yeah, do that. Sure, no one on those. Anyway, let's open this up and see what we got going on here. Not too bad. Pretty big miniature, five dollars. You know, so there, there's that. Um, but you know, let's see if we would actually use it. So we have this, and we have the base, DOS base. So. It's a two inch by two inch base. <laughs> the base dropped. <laughs> Get it. Uh, <laughs> and here we go. Uh, we got a pretty uh, quirky looking dude there. Um, never really understood these things. Eaton's. They're, they're okay. Eaton's. Eaton's. They're like uh, ogres with two heads. I guess each head has its own personality. And um, they, of course, share this body. So, um, yeah. I guess there's that, um, but you got two skulls and it looks like one spinal column. So I'm just kind of a little weird. Or I don't know. I'm confused how this functions. Is it like that that one girl that had the reality show where she had the two heads and and what what is she up to now? Um, you know the I guess she was a teenager. I think now she's a grown woman and who's I think each head married because each head was its own personality. It was its own consciousness. So I guess each head like married somebody or got in a relationship with somebody else. How does that work? Just, uh, hey, uh, sis. Um, so going to take the body out tonight and uh, just kind of just kind of do that. Um, so uh, you're going to want a blindfold on because what's about to happen after dinner is probably gonna scare the bejesus out of you or i mean just <laughs> i don't know and then their thing is how come we don't see any female eatons ettons why not you know just put one in a mini skirt yeah okay cool there's a loincloth there in a mini skirt because you know if the, one of these was female of the mini skirt i'd expect to see like a 10 o'clock shadow maybe like a cigarette hanging out somewhere you know just uh hey what are you looking at you know, and you're like, oh my God, cigarettes. Do you smoke them or eat them? But uh, anyway, but no, I just, I don't know. I would like to see more gender diversity with Eddins. That's all I'm saying. It's a new day, a new age. So uh, let's get to measuring this. <laughs> to all the people who have not stopped the video and discussed yet. Um, looks like we're right around three inches in height for um, Imperial. Let's take a look at our metric system. Just under eight centimeters in height for the metric system. Let's take a look at this base. This base is rocking uh, about what five centimeters for metric, and then of course we're gonna go right around the two, just under two inches for imperial. So we got that there, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our buddy Sir Four Scale here, and uh, you know include not included in the purchase of this miniature for scale purposes only and uh yeah i just uh you know i would i would like to see mashup miniatures like make one of these female with shopping bags and but i want i want it to be like a karen and then then have a male one be like a like a kyle with like a bunch of empty monster energy drinks and then just a bunch of drywall with fist punch holes in it you know just you know because it goes both ways it goes both ways you can't you, know, you can't embrace one gender stereotype and and uh, totally omit the other that would be not fair would it so um yeah i think i think it would be uh, some pretty fun stuff or um uh, i don't know maybe like um i don't know just i, I would like mashup miniatures you know like uh ah jeez, i i don't know 
maybe like a, a mashup between a wizard and Doc Brown. I don't know. I'm probably going to edit this part out. Anyway, want to thank you for watching. <laughs> Uh, if you ever tell your friends what this video is about, you can just tell them it's about five minutes too long. Anyway, so um, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, any comments, put them down below. Um, I always make sure never to, to disable my comments so you can get about as um, critical as you want in those. Um, anyway, other than that, hope you're having a great day. Bye.